Hello everybody, Jester here, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic, where, as you can see, I am not with Darth Dementis. Well, at this stage in time, just uh, some help to date this recording for you, he is still Lord Dementis. And uh, he, he has just arrived on Vos. That is what has happened prior to this video, but... Because I am, you know, an impatient bugger. Here is Kariba, the latest Jedi Consular Padawan to arrive. The best way to win is by not fighting. On Tython. So, I've decided to jump the gun a little, little bit and treat my Jedi Consular. This is a Zabrak. On the word of myself and my order. Obviously, he is a dark side Zabrak, but the story is that... He did some training on Korriban, but um, after he was forced to kill a fellow acolyte, he felt extremely guilty and eventually he ran away from Korriban. He spent some time on the streets of Nar Shaddaa and eventually he was picked up by a Jedi recruiter and he sort of began his journey to um, redemption, so to speak. So, he does have a lot of guilt, but he is trying to live with it and atone for his crimes. So anyway, may the Force be with you. Perfect timing. So let's go. Jedi Consular. Yeah, no, we don't want any copyright... Blah 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 blah. No copyright. 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 No thank you. We don't want any copyright. <laughs> Here we go. So yeah, um, this character is going to be very different from from Darth Dementis. Obviously, Dementis was a Sith. This guy is a Jedi, so he's going to be a lot more tolerant, a lot more merciful. But of course, he does have that dark back, that dark um, history. So maybe that will play a part. Who knows? Ah, Padawan. I heard your shuttle arriving. I am Master Sio Bakarn of the Jedi Council. Welcome to Tython. Thank this you is much. the ancestral home of our order, where the Jedi first came to be, and where our most promising Padawans complete their training. I'm excited to be here. The chance to see where the first Jedi walked, train where they trained. It's quite an honor. So eager. You and your new master should get along nicely. Your instructors tell me that even in childhood, you had a remarkable connection to the Force. We haven't seen such power in decades. Yeah, he did uh, run away from Korriban when he was a kid. I was hoping your new master would be here. Yuan left her dig site and is returning to Tython specifically to train you. Well, I hope I'm worthy. It sounds like Master Yuan's putting a lot of faith in me. We haven't even met. Trust in your initial training. And never forget the Jedi Code. There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. There is no death, there is the Force. This is... Yuan, I was beginning to worry. So you've arrived safely, my Padawan. I'm sorry I can't greet you properly, but we already have a crisis on our hands. I'm ready. I'm at your service, Master. Tython is a treasure trove of ancient Jedi relics. Recently our researchers uncovered several teaching holograms, but they've not been fully studied. These holograms may be records of the founders of the Jedi Order. They're absolutely irreplaceable. But a large group of flesh raiders has begun rampaging through that region. Those priceless holograms are in danger. We should be able to save them. Is there a way to protect the holograms? Someone must slip past the flesh raiders to recover these holograms projectors. 
I intend this to be the first task of your training. No, Yuan. You can't risk a Padawan against flesh raiders, even for such important artifacts. A Padawan who was stronger in the Force at four years old than I was at fifteen? Gifted students need greater challenges. I understand. So I must recover <clears throat> these holograms and watch for flesh raiders. Where should I begin? The holograms are in the Gnarls. Be vigilant. That region has dangers of its own. If you encounter any difficulties, contact me on this holo communicator. When you have the holograms, meet me at the Jedi Temple. We have much to discuss. Yes, Master. Time to prove our worth. So here we are. Kereba. So, well, first of all, we're going to need to do a little bit of um, switcheroonies. It looks like this will do for now, but also, do we have a um, a mailbox anywhere? We do not, unfortunately. That's alright, though. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this outfit for... Reminder, mechanized travel is for official business Same. only. Because um, if you if you watched my you know yeah if you watched my um uh Sith, the, or the start of my Sith Warrior playthrough you will know that I prefer to keep with a default uh, training attire for the time being uh, just until I leave the tutorial planet and become a uh, Padawan. Better where's the um, bingo? Uh, let's uh, take all the attached stuff and get rid of that. Got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, this is a helmet, but we're going to hide that for now. Uh, oh, no. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I meant to do that. Hide head slot. Equip that to get a little bit of armor. The illustrious, always useful. And then... What are you Unlock an inventory module. And then uh, this is better than what I've got, so we'll equip that for now. We'll probably get something new soon. But anyway, away we go. Already we've got a level up. Haha. <laughs> Oh, I thought I said hide hell. Excuse me. Yeah, hide head slot. That's the one. So, yeah, so this guy is going to be a uh, mostly light side, maybe some dark side, maybe. Activation protocol begins. So, after the long silence, finally someone comes. Just... I am Garen Jard. Millennia ago, I stood as a founder of the Jedi Order. I was sent to save you. There are flesh raiders in the area. Your hollow projector's at risk. I'm here to save it. To protect without fighting. A trait I wanted at the core of our beliefs. The Jedi may have changed, but galactic peace has always remained one of our goals. Activation protocol complete. Go well. Okay. So... To find peace without fighting, is that what he said? Something along those lines. So, right, this bridge next. So let's go ahead and... Uh, this is rather easy. <coughs> These flash raiders ain't nothing. Activation protocol begins. Ah, another has come to listen. When the Jedi Order was founded, I, Calabrin, said we should devote ourselves to justice. True justice cannot be driven by emotion. We Jedi can set our passions aside 
and seek the truth without fear or favor. But compassion is important. If you can't feel mercy, justice suffers. Sorrow for the victim, or outrage at the crime, can blind us. <clears throat> to see clearly, such feelings must be put aside. Huh. It has served us well. We Jedi are renowned for our fairness, our honesty. Now, that reputation is yours to keep. Activation protocol complete. Hmm, interesting. <coughs> interesting. Next up is Northwest and Northeast. Go to this flesh here the first. Oh, nice, we got our first loot. And our first credits. You know what, let's actually kill these guys while we're here, actually. Just because I want to. Beautiful. Who's next? Activation protocol begins. A new Jedi comes to learn. Excellent. Excellent. I am Ter Sindon, keeper of the histories, a founder and chronicler of the Jedi Order. Chronicle. I saw us becoming guardians of knowledge and secrets. We Jedi would safeguard the wisdom of the galaxy. I'd love to be a part of that. Gathering such knowledge would be a great adventure. My travels took me across many worlds, more than any other founder. I saw, heard, dreamed. Jedi seek to dispel ignorance, to understand other cultures, and bring that understanding to others. Never forget that, wherever your path leads. Activation protocol complete. Thank you, Master Tess. Last but not least, to the Northeast Hologram. But before we do that, of course, we have Flesh Raiders to get rid of. <coughs> ah, yeah, that wee scout can die and all. These guys are pretty weak, lakes. I thought they were meant to be tough. What? What was Master Seal so concerned about? See, I'm already level three. And oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, infiltration, serenity. Uh, I'm gonna go with infiltration because uh, I like that move set. <laughs> Sneak attack. And are we hunter who is dead? Right. Last but not least. You try to activate the hologram, but nothing happens. On closer examination, the hollow projector has been carefully pried from its base and removed. Okay, that is. Uh, yeah. Master Yuan, I've encountered a problem. One of the hollow projectors has been stolen. Stolen? But the flesh raiders don't steal, they destroy. I'll look into this. If you have the other holograms, come and meet me at the Jedi Temple. I'm sending you directions now. And please, Padawan, be careful. I will. Okay, and actually, before I forget, where's my, um, bingo, quick travel. I can go right there. Uh, do I? Okay, I don't have my. Um, no. Okay, uh, we're going to the Jedi Temple, which is this direction. Okay, I won't uh, steal his kills. But while we're here, we can train up a little bit. With 
Master Liv Try. There is much to learn if you know where to look. Farewell, Force young Wave. Jedi. Okay, so Force Wave is very useful. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Jedi Temple. Oh, so hopefully you people are looking forward to this new season of Star Wars The Old Republic. Again, I would like to tell you or remind you that this will not be the same as the Sith Warrior. It will be very different. Both the character and the storyline will all be completely different. If you haven't figured that out already. I mean, for one, there's no massive tombs, there's no oppressive statues, we're not on a rocky desert planet. We're on the lush green forests and mountains of Tython, home world of the Jedi Order. And we have got... Halen, how are you? Hey, Padawan. You must be the one Master Yuan mentioned. Must be. If we weren't Jedi, I would say I could tell because you are as cute as described. Damn. But we are Jedi, so I will say nothing of the sort. <laughs> Sorry. Babbling. Master Yuan said to remind you that she says a Jedi needs to learn martial skills and said that I should say you should. Um. Uh. You're, you're silly for a Jedi, but I'm not going to. Um, uh. Mm, yeah. I say this in a friendly way. Not really the calm and collected Padawan ideal, are you? First week. <laughs> just found I was force sensitive. How crazy is that? Go see Master Weddle in the temple. Doesn't look like much, but he'll show you stuff you wouldn't believe. Good luck. May the Force be with you. Cute. Harlan, maybe we'll come back. See if we can uh, have a wee chat. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, you know, yeah, let's speak to Master uh, Weddle right now, just to get the experience. Especially because you've got the 200% uh, experience book boost. Which is always useful, you know? Great! Master Yuan Pa! Any idea where this missing hollow. Um, what's the word? Uh, what's it? Oh, damn, what's it called? Hollow Cube? Um, Hologranth. Uh, Holocron! Holocron, that's what. Any idea where the missing Holocron could be? There isn't. It's out of my hands, Kaizen. I haven't. Padawan, come in. This is Kaizen Fess, an old friend. He's here on a hunting expedition. A sacred Trandoshan tradition. A pleasure. It's an honor to meet you. Your Nord Bastro. The Endectus. Zantalis, or Davrapsak. Some people, even some Jedi, disapprove of my friendship with Kaizen. I wanted you to meet, before rumors prejudiced you. First, thank you for saving the holograms. The Jedi have lost enough lately without losing our history, too. It was no trouble. I was glad to help, Master. I've identified the holoprojector that was stolen. It contained a, a hologram of Master Rajivari. Rajivari was another of the Jedi founders. He turned to the dark side. He betrayed the very order he helped to create. One of the first fallen Jedi. This Rajivari's betrayal paved the way for the Sith. Rajivari was immensely powerful. That stolen hologram could hold his darkest secrets. The thief is likely from Kalikori village. Local Twi'lek pilgrims here illegally. Many of them are poor or hungry. Yeah, why is the village illegal? You said Kalakori village isn't a legal settlement. I didn't think Tython had such laws. The Republic couldn't give the Twi'laks permission to colonize Tython. Too dangerous. But they came regardless. I'd like you to go to Kalikori village, discover who took the hollow projector and retrieve it. But tread lightly. The Twi'laks are here in defiance of Republic law. We're forbidden to fully defend them, even when the flesh raiders attack. Relations are strained. So we just do nothing? We're Jedi. Aren't we obligated to help those in need? 
This is the Jedi Council's judgment. I might disagree, but the decision is made. When you reach Kalikori village, find Bashen, captain of the village guard. He knows everyone. He may have seen the hollow projector. I think meeting these pilgrims will be a good lesson for you, Padawan. Go carefully. Bashen. And, oh, nice, I've got the oh, Padawan title now, so I'll go ahead and do that. And I got a new Electro Staff, yep. Here we go. I'm no level 5. Damn, I'm leveling up pretty quickly. Here we go, Bashan. I come in peace. Break out another cask, or three. The festival only comes once a year. Our stores can take it. Just as well. We have an uninvited guest. I see. Festival of Awakening, Jedi. You're not welcome here. Sorry, but my, my master sent me. I apologize for interrupting. Master Yuan Par asks if you've seen a Jedi holo projector. Huh. If Yuan Par is asking, guess we could try and remember. A holo projector? Yeah, I know what you mean. Nalan found one. Nalan Rollick. Maybe you've heard of him? I'm kind of new here. Sorry, I've only just arrived on this world. Nalan Rollick, our dueling champion for nine years straight. He once rescued an entire scouting party from Flesh Raiders single-handed. He planned our defenses, protects us when we go foraging. Without him, we wouldn't even be having the festival. And no, I am not telling you where he is. Nalan earns his peace and quiet. He could be in danger. That hologram's data isn't safe. Nalan should be warned. Or do you want to risk something happening to him? Nalan can take care of himself. <sighs> Against flesh raiders, sure. But some of that Jedi tech is weird. Exactly. Okay, fine. Nalan went into the flesh raiders' territory. He's probably still there. It's been gone a while. Thank you. Then I should look for him. Enjoy your festival. I think nalan has got a camp out there. If you see him, tell him to be back for the feast. Will do. Now before we continue though, I've got one more little bit of editing to do. Show conversation alignment gain. Done. Now, find Nalan, Nalan Ralok's camp. So we are going... Uh, where on earth am I? No holo projector here. Ah, hello. Here's his holocron. You make a lot of noise. I come for a flesh raider. I find a Jedi Padawan. I come to listen. To think among the dead. To fight for my people. Why have you come? To retrieve the holo projector. My master sent me, to bring Rajavari's projector back to the temple. I'm called Nalan Ralok. The others in the village spin tales of their legendary protector. They don't understand. Are the flesh raiders destroyed? No. My people aren't safe until my learning's complete. You're learning? Tython's relics still have lessons. I listen. I can do things I never imagined possible. I will be the defender my people deserve. Are you okay? Perhaps your studies are making you into something else. Jedi condemn what they can't control. But you're not a concern. Only the flesh raiders matter. Rajavari's hologram showed me how to punish them. The Flesh Raiders will come, but not leave. A merciful death compared to what my people have suffered. Are you going to punish me too? What crimes have I committed that deserve being buried alive? There are hidden wonders, Jedi. And my journey has just begun. Now run, or die. Okay, 
uh, Rajivari, or not Rajivari, uh, Melon Rauk has gone insane, it would seem. Right. Master Yu. Padawan, I just spoke to Rana Dalven, the daughter of Kalikori Village's matriarch, concerning your visit there. I want you to meditate on what you learned. Such experiences are what shape us as Jedi. We, ha we have something to discuss. I found the hollow projector, as you asked. We should check that Rajivari's hologram is safe. The hollow projector was stolen by a Twi'lek, Neelan Ralak. He'd learned force techniques from Rajivari's hologram. He was obviously unstable. A villager? Very unusual. Then this Neelan is force sensitive. Let's see what he saw. Are you sure it's safe? Activation protocol begins. A few words. Shall this be all my legacy? No. My enemies are long dead. It is time. Hear me. I have left true wisdom behind. For those who follow where the first blade points, from the sanctuary of the Order, all else is fleeting. First blade points? My word. True wisdom. Padawan, he, he's talking about the fount of Rajivari. Are you alright, Master? You seem shaken. I... I'm fine. This is just hard to believe. After Rajivari fell, sources claimed he created a great archive of his knowledge and teachings. The Fount of Rajivari. Generations of Jedi searched for it, finding nothing. The Fount's considered a hoax by all reputable scholars, but we just heard proof. So did Nalan. Nalan Ralak saw this hologram, Master. More of Rajivari's knowledge could make him incredibly dangerous. The hologram said, follow where the first blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order. Kaleth! The ruins at Kaleth! The name means Sanctum. It's the remains of an ancient fortress. Evidence suggests Kaleth was destroyed in a great battle. Old droids still walk those ruins today, but this first blade is a puzzle. Does Kaleth have an armor? If it was once a fortress, it could refer to weapons that were stored in Kaleth. We have found several old weapons in one section of Kaleth. Nothing like a first blade, but a good place to begin. Ah, I planned your training so carefully, <laughs> but the Force has intervened. Finding the Fount of Rajivari and stopping Nalan must be a greater test. You're still my master. Even if the Force is shaping my training, I want your help, Master Yuan. I... thank you. You should know, Padawan. The Council tends to disapprove of such training, but I'll explain everything to them. For now, focus on exploring Kaleth for this first blade. Call me on your hollow communicator at once if you have any success. Will do. Thank you, Master. Uh, this is. Uh, oh, that's just provided there anyway. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think that's probably a good place to end off this episode here. So, hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already. And share this video with your friends to expand the Royal Court. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Jester, signing off.